Today's topic is propositional logic. So we will discuss today some important terms of propositional logic, then logical connectives, then the term antecedent and consequent, then the terms converse, inverse and contrapositives, then tautology and contradiction, then finally we will generate propositional expression. Now important terms. So to know about propositional logic we have to understand the term logic propositional logic what is then proposition propositional constant propositional variables types of proposition then well formed formula and then truth table and, and truth tables and truth values now logic what is logic logic is nothing it is valid reasoning from which we can conclude something that is now propositional logic when logic is expressed as a sentence it is called propositional logic for example if it is raining then it is cloudy and it is said that it is raining so we can conclude that it is cloudy so it is a logic and as it is expressed as a sentence so it is a propositional logic so propositional logic is the simplest form of logic where all the statements are made by proposition so what is proposition proposition is nothing it is a sentence which can be concluded as true or false for example it is raining is a proposition as we can say that it is true that it is raining or it is false that it is raining and it is cloudy it is also a proposition it is concluded as true or false but where are you going is not a proposition as this cannot be concluded as true or false are you going it can be true or false yes or no but these are not proposition so it is cloudy it can be true or false it is a proposition now propositional constant so propositional constant is proposition in sentential form that is in original form in proposition is constant so like the normal algebra the variables are used in this case also propositional logic the when propositional constants are represented by some symbols it is called the variables that is it is cloudy when represented by a here a is the variable or b is the variable so these are the variables in proposition now types of proposition proposition can be simple or compound so when it is a simple sentence it is simple proposition that it is raining and when two or more sentence is combined together it is called compound proposition that is it is raining and it is cloudy is a compound statement now well formed formula well formed formula is when the expression is when the proposition is represented by the variables only a sim sim simple proposition can be a well formed formula also that it is raining it is also a when it is represented by variable a it is a well formed formula it can be only b it can be a and b that is it is raining and it is cloudy it can be also a well formed formula when represented by two variables or it can be a or b so these are the well formed formula now truth values and truth tables truth values are the conclusion so propos in proposition we have true values true and false so truth values are true and false it is represented as false as 0 and true as 1 now truth table is the table which contains some inputs and the output based on some relation so when the number of inputs is 2 so the output the combination of all the two inputs is present here it will be 2 to the power n that is if the input is n that is uh, 2 here so it will be 4 2 to the power 2 it if the inputs are 3 then 2 to the power 3 8 will be the possible combination so all the possible combination will be present in the truth table and the result will be depicted here so this will this table is called the truth table so here we can see that 0 0 0 
zero one 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 zero one 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 one. This is the truth table of or this is a logical connective. So what is logical connectives? Now there are some logical connectives. These are conjunction, disjunction, negation, double negation, implication and equivalence. <coughs> Conjunction is represented as AND, disjunction as OR, negation as NOT, double negation that is NOT of NOT. Implication is represented as if A then B. If it is raining then it is cloudy. So it will be an implication. And the equivalence is if and only if. So if it is if and if it is raining if and only if it is cloudy. So it will be an equivalence. The symbols of these connectives are this not is represented by these two symbols and is represented by these two symbols or is represented by these two symbols if then that is implication or conditional logical connective is represented as this arrow if and only if that is equivalence or bidirectional is e represented as double headed arrow. Now antecedent and consequent. Antecedent and consequent is present only when it is implication. So if it, it is raining then it is cloudy. Here the part of the sentence after the word if is the antecedent and the part after the then word it is the consequent. So it is raining is the antecedent and it is cloudy is the consequent here. Now converse, inverse and contrapositive. It is also possible in implication. <coughs> converse. In converse, we will interchange the antecedent and consequent. For example, if it is raining, then it is cloudy. The converse of this will be if it is cloudy, then it is raining. So we will interchange the antecedent and consequence. Now inverse. Inverse is the negation of antecedent and consequent. So it will be if it is not raining then it is not cloudy. So it will be the inverse of this sentence. And what is contrapositive? Contrapositive is both of inverse and converse that is interchange and negation of the antecedent and consequent. So if it is not cloudy then it is not raining will be the contrapositive of this sentence. Now tautology and contradiction. Tautology is said here that is when the output will be always 0. So here we can see in this truth table one input is A another input is 1. So when we add, add or the two inputs a or 1 then we can see that the output is always 1 so this is a tautology the contradiction is the opposite of this that is when the output is always 0 so here a and 0 when ended together will be always the outcome 0 so it is a contradiction now how to generate propositional expression we can generate propositional expression in two ways using disjunction of conjunction terms or using conjunction of disjunction terms. Here are some rules. Given a situation, make the simple statements. So, from a situation, we have to make the simple statements first. Then, from those statements, make the truth table. And then, from the truth table, find the conjunction terms in the first case or for the second case we have to find the disjunction terms then make a disjunction of those conjunction terms or conjunction of those disjunction terms so here we will see with an example now given a situation make the simple statement is the first step so situation is it is windy and it is cloudy or it may be windy or not it is raining so this may happen for a weather forecast that is whether it is bad or not so here we can see that 
if it is windy or it is and it is cloudy then we can say the weather is bad or it may be windy or cloudy it is raining we can say the weather is bad so this will be our situation now we can um, <coughs> make the statements it is windy it is cloudy and it is raining so it will cover all this situation so these are the <coughs> these are the simple statements we found from this statement now we have to make the truth table so here we have three inputs a b and c so we will have the combination of 2 to the power n 2 to the power 3 that is 8 combination so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 now what will be the output so it may be windy or not it is raining so it is the <coughs> it is a simple sentence where we can see that if this statement is true then the output will be true so where it is raining it is true so in case of c is 1 we can see that the output is 1 now when it is windy and it is cloudy this is also the bad weather so when both of these are correct then if it is true or false when both of these are correct the output will be 1 so here we can see that c is one 0 but a and b both are 1 so it is the output 1 and other rest of the places we will put 0 so these are the output of this situation so this is the truth table we get from these statements now we will first check how to find the propositional expression using disjunction of conjunction term then we will see how to find the propositional expression using conjunction of disjunction terms first we will take the disjunction of conjunction terms conjunction terms are also called mean <coughs> mean terms that is <coughs> the product of the input values so here we will consider only those mean terms where the output is 1 so we will not consider where the output is 0 so we will we will get the 5 mean terms or conjunction terms so how will we generate this conjunction terms when the input is 0 it will be taken as the negation negation of the <coughs> negation of the input value so it is not a not b and c it will be not a b and c it will be a not b and c it will be a b not c it will be a b and c so these are our conjunction terms we get now we have to find the disjunction of those conjunction terms so when we will add those conjunction terms we will get the disjunction of conjunction terms so this is the propositional expression we get from the situation now how to find the conjunction of propositional logic using conjunction of disjunction terms so disjunction terms also called max terms are the summation of the input values so that is OR operator here so we will consider here only where the output is 0 so we will take consider this only these 5 output values we will not consider these values and here if we have zero value then the input will be as it is and if it is the input is one then it will be we will take the negation of the input value <coughs> here we can see that a plus b plus c a plus b plus not c a plus not b plus c a plus not b plus not c 
not a plus b plus c now finally we will find the product that is the conjunction of those disjunction terms so this is the conjunction of those five disjunction terms when we put the and operator in the middle so this is the finally <coughs> a propositional expression we get from this truth table so now i think you all understand you can generate more propositional logic and if you have queries and suggestion let me know in the comment box thank you